Hello guys and welcome to Crypto Ball. In this video we are going to talk about one project which is going to solve a real world problem which is going to help unbanked. There are lots of people currently in the world unbanked and in this video we are going to talk about Shanti. And in short what this project is about guys is that at the very start they are going to create social lending and they will be working with real world commercial institutions at the end of this project was the main idea is to create a crypto project or DeFi, the centralized finance project where people will be able to use this also as a payment method they will be able to earn they will be able to lend they will be able to borrow and they will be able to use this as a real world cryptocurrency all around around the world okay guys but let's get step by step and let's have a look at this project and what this project is about they have also a white paper which you can find here in english and korean language as you know guys korea is one of the biggest crypto countries all around the world that's why they also have a white paper in korean if you go into white paper you can find much more information i will not be getting into it as always all links will be in description go in and check this out for yourself guys but let's talk now about what is Shanti and what problems they are going to solve as you see bringing peace to the world with crypto and blockchain that is the, their main goal or that is the main goal of this project as you see social lending I will make it a bit bigger so you can also see guys over 2 billion people in the world are unbanked and that is actually the fact guys because in countries in many countries like Africa for example there are lots of regions where people don't have access to banking or to bank institutions like for example we here in Europe or people in United States or in Canada even so they don't have these opportunities or banks or they don't have these options to use them they can borrow they can't lend money these people do not have access to the banking services and therefore they cannot save invest and even borrow money this leads to a number of crimes and does not show any significant decline and Shanti aims to solve this problem using crypto and blockchain technology. So this is the main goal to this project, to Shanti, to solve this problem, provide these financial services to these 2 billion and bank people which are out there. And here are the first step which they are going to do, which they are planning to do with this project is to build a service that allows users to lend money to anyone in the world with Shanti platform. So this platform, this will be the same centralized platform Shanti is building DeFi for lending and where people all around will be able to borrow and they where they will be able to lend and this is a financial service on the blockchain using what is now called the DeFi and smart contracts and another thing which is very important which will also be mentioned here a little bit later is guys that this Shanti token or cryptocurrency this will be also deflationary firstly it will be burned from profits which they will be making when borrowing and when lending money and then burning of this cryptocurrency will be also available through transaction fees which will be acquired when this cryptocurrency will be made as a legal form of payment but we will get to it in a second as you can see here guys the second step is to use Shanti's network to expand the number of borrowers accepting institutions and all these points you can read in more detail here I will not be getting into it as I am just trying to give you the main idea behind this project Shanti token economy before Shanti will be used as an utility token we will provide the following value to the hodlers by holding Shanti the loan interest rate will increase depending on the amount and borrowers will receive a preferential interest rate and portion of the profits from the Shanti platform will be used to buy back in the market and the acquired tokens will be burned guys this means that they will be using profits to burn this cryptocurrency the circulating supply or maximum supply of Shanti's tokens they will be getting just smaller and smaller with the more profitable this crypto will get so as like I mentioned they are going to make this as a payment method we will get to it guys and from transaction fees which will be occurring also in these payment methods they will be also buying back these tokens and they will be burning these tokens and this essentially deflates Shanti guys 
as you can see and here is liquidity when the liquidity of shanti becomes enough we will develop a service where shanti can be exchanged for digital money and build a scene where shanti has a real monetary value ag if you hold shanti you can start to use it in the mcdonald's or starbucks or any other outlets out there this means that they are going to create a real money also or they are the one of the targets is that people just by using their mobile phones without any credit cards they will be able to buy and sell they will be exchanged they will be able to send one each other these cryptocurrency and shanties as a utility token also has an inherently deflationary component specifically we will burn a portion of these fees this is another way how they will be getting or how this crypto will be getting more valuable so yes guys there are much more information go check their white paper if you are interested as you see shanti token economy you can read more but yes i find this project interesting that's why i decided to review it here on crypto bull channel and if you found this video useful leave a like share this video subscribe to my channel if you are new and see you in the next one